What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix some issues with Dota 2 when it's crashing on startup, crashing in gameplay, super unstable, and things like that. It's a general fix guide that will usually end up with a much better performing game if things are just broken as is currently. There's a couple of simple solutions and we'll start with the most basic. First of all, make sure Windows is fully up to date. And second of all, make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date as well. Simply head across to NVIDIA, AMD or Intel's graphics website to download the latest version of your drivers for whatever you have in your PC. If you have software like NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you can update your drivers through there as well, just to make sure everything's all the way up to date and nothing's missing. At this point, if things aren't working properly, the next simplest thing to do is verify the game files for Dota. 2. Head across to your Steam library and locate Dota 2, then right click it, click properties, and inside of here, head across to local files, then click verify integrity of game files. If you have an update pending, you'll need to wait for that to finish before you can do this. After a short while, it'll run through all of the different game files on your PC for Dota 2, make sure they match the server, assuming they don't, any corrupt files or broken files will be replaced with fresh working copies from the Steam servers. If things still aren't working, right click Dota 2, click properties, then head across to the general tab, where we'll be entering some launch options here. You can enter hyphen auto config one word, and the next time you start up Dota 2, your graphics settings should be customized automatically to match your computer's settings. You may or may not be a fan of this option, so personally, I'll leave this out here and instead recommend hyphen high and space hyphen windowed. This will make sure that the game runs with high priority and windowed mode to make sure that if it's changing your resolution to something weird, it won't be causing it to adjust weirdly, causing the game to crash. This is a common fix, and these two options are usually the solution to startup issues for Dota 2. But let's assume things still aren't working. If you're running a super low-end PC and you're running out of RAM, there's a simple solution for this, and that's adjusting the amount of virtual memory. Hit start and type in advanced system and we will be opening view advanced system settings. Inside of here, we'll head across to the advanced tab, then we'll click settings next to performance, and inside of here, advanced once more, then virtual memory, click change here, select your C drive, wherever Windows is installed, and choose system managed size. Otherwise, if you know what you're doing, you can click custom size and raise the amount of megabytes available for virtual memory. Essentially, if your RAM runs out, it'll use these files here, temporary little files on your drives to store whatever would be in RAM usually just to stop crashes and things like that. Usually a good idea to have your virtual memory set by your PC, but of course you can set it yourself. By simply raising it to maybe 4096 for 4 gigabytes, that means that you have around about 4 gigabytes of extra RAM, though not really RAM, available if things hit the max and your PC really breaks and shuts down at that point. It's a good safety net to have if Dota 2 is crashing because you have low RAM. RAM. At this point, most things should be fixed. If you're crashing while you're playing the actual game itself, do make sure that you have verified the game files to make sure there's no corrupt textures and things like that loading. If you have any third party software, you may want to turn it off, such as say Discord overlays and things like that, hooking into the game itself, even OBS for example, close everything on your PC, open up the game and see if it still crashes. If it's crashing in gameplay, it's a good idea to lower your graphics settings or follow an optimization guide just to make sure that your PC has breathing room and it's not maxing out completely. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.